You ever think about how beautiful life really is? When was the last time you clicked off that autopilot button and just stopped and looked around? It's damn near impossible not to get tangled in the monotony of our everyday. The constant struggle of living a nine to five could put a damper on how we view things. But I promise, if you take a look, and I mean a real hard look at our surroundings, you will start to realize the beauty it holds. From the moment in the early rise when the sun shines right through the perfect part of my window bathing my room in rays of warmth, to the dirt beneath our feet that we stand tall on, from that overwhelming feeling of power from the waves crashing against the pier, to the strangers we pass every single day without taking that fraction of a second to register their smile. The ability we have as humans that separates us from the wild is that we can share emotion through speech, yet nobody speaks. It's all beautiful, and if you take a second to really grasp that, and watch as it all slows down. You might just realize that even the ugliest things are crammed with grace. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. We had a lot of fun making this with our friend Darren Dyke. You should check out and subscribe to his YouTube channel, Beyond Slow Motion, for more awesome slow-mo content. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks. I moved to New York with two suitcases and a goal of taking 10,000 photos. You know, I didn't have money to go out, I didn't have money to go to bars or anything like that. All I did all day long for about six months was photographing. That's all I did. You know, in the early days, I'd have people actually say to me, how delusional do you have to be to think that you're going to be a successful photographer with no experience? I had thousands of photos, and I've been doing it for months and nobody was paying attention. One day, I started a page called Humans of New York. We started getting one new fan a day, two new fans a day. And I said, forget everything else. This is, a, this is what's working for me. And so I just started uploading my pictures directly to Facebook. And then all of a sudden, it just... <laughs> Do you remember the happiest moment of your life? Where in Iran were you from? So you have really plain looking okay, underwear. It's like super plain. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great quote. <laughs> like the real I have really plain looking <laughs> underwear. I think, you know, we walk down the street and we see all these people and we do kind of wonder about their stories. The, the celebrations and the victories and that's what people are engaging with. What's your greatest challenge right now? I don't think about it. I just go day to day. What's the hardest part about math? Fractions. Fractions? Yes, I hate fractions. I hate fractions too. What I really hope to maintain is the culture of positivity, <laughs> of celebration and support that these people share. was weeping. I always cry when I'm angry. And she said, why are you crying? It's only orphan. The baby box is South Korea's first and only box to collect abandoned infants. Hundreds of unwanted babies are abandoned on the streets of Seoul, South Korea every year. Tragic loss of life moved the pastor said to set up a way for saving unwanted babies. Yeah. 
그래서 이제 데뷔 박스라는 것을 만들게 됐고. 그리고 정말 안 들을 줄 알았어. 어떤 아이들은 목사님 이 아이하고 죽으려고 약약 탔습니다. 약 탔습니다. 예, 그러지 마라. 그러면 너도 오고 애기도 와라. 길이 엄마의 엄마의 글입니다. 제 아들을 부탁드립니다. 찾지 말아 주십시오. 죄송합니다. 정말로 죄송합니다. 이 길이 이 길이 이 길이 영어 이름은 빅토리. 빅토리 빅토리. 그래서 그 아이들이 이 세상에 필요 없는 존재들이 아니고. 하나님이 쓰시고자 했다 이렇게 보내셨어요. 여기 이제 예, 가정에 20명이나 한그 아이들이 좁은 공간에서 많이 살고 있으니까 사랑 공동체가 다른 것은 아버지 어머니가 아, 있기 때문이죠. 또 하지 않는 일 그리고 버려질 수 있고 또는 나라에서 하지 않고 있는 이런 일들을 하시는 Everything there is just one person that really cares. About children, it makes such a difference. They're just human beings, just like anyone else. They have the right to live. This problem is not just a Korean problem. It's a problem that is going to be eradicated from the world. But these children, they're helpless. These children, they're helpless. They're voiceless. Who's going to speak for them? I sent them back to this child again and again. 하나님, 이 아이들을 위해서 죽겠습니다. 믿음, 소망, 사랑 중에 세 가지, 그, 그 중에 제일은 사랑의 영역. Desire to perform, rooted deep into the essence of their existence, in a constant battle to stay ahead and lead the way. Simple acts of courage. Defining the scope of their abilities. Pushing harder to challenge boundaries with every gushing heartbeat. Every lie of the mind.
their faith decided in hours, minutes, fractions of a second. With fierce determination and persistence, these athletes choose the endless struggle for perfection. With an undefinable urge to keep going at it against all odds. I-Force captures their extraordinary lives in a quest to inspire, surprise, and document glimpses of magic. A different state of mind. Another view on life. These mountains here is called Monsec, and this is Pre-Pyrenees. We're gonna try to attach, take off two, two balloons together, tied with a slack line, yeah. and people are gonna try to cross from one balloon to the other. We don't really know how the slack line will behave because uh, we haven't tried on the ground with uh, mobile uh, anchors. So now we will test just at two meters high and we we'll see that it's just. We don't know. We don't know. We have to try and we have to test. <laughs> Walking between two hot air balloons in the, in the air, in the sky. And I think it's gonna be hard to put the proper tension. I mean, we still don't know if it's gonna work or not. Maybe it's, it's gonna be a complete failure, a complete disaster. Vale, Miquel, a punt per deixar anar. Preparat? 3, 2, 1, soltos! Ja veig poc.
Ouais. Par là, j'aime bien plutôt. Allez, bat toi Ouais! Combien de secondes? Combien? Trois! 